Fox 2 News at 7 on KTVU+. Plus. All right, joining us to talk more about the detention of migrant children, we're joined in studio tonight by Dr. Warren Farrell, author of the book, The Boy Crisis, examining how boys separated from their fathers tend to really suffer a lot down the road. Now, uh, Dr. Farrell, I, I, you know, I have to ask you, when you see these images that we're seeing coming out of some of these detention facilities, uh, as someone who has studied these family separations for much of your lifetime, it, it must uh, really hurt you. It really is bothersome because I know um, from looking at children, especially children that are separated for a long time uh, after divorce, for example, for, from their dads, um, I was looking at something called the boy crisis and I've been seeing that th this crisis exists among almost all children that are being separated from their dads in divorce situations and almost all children being separated from their dads in uh, situations where moms have children without being married and um, usually those children lose their fathers in a very short period of time and the trauma we have very good documentation now that the children suffer in about 70 different areas so when this is, when this is happening at the border this that's a that's a, a setup for a mini version of that what what are the long-term effects you know from a physical standpoint a mental standpoint what what sort of psychological trauma are we talking about that these kids might might suffer from fears, down the road fears of abandonment fears of um, that, that, that they don't have something stable in their life um, when, when children aren't either fed consistently that when they can't depend on depend on it they become very insecure they become very anxious that's much more likely to lead to depression and in worst case scenarios where children in divorce situations especially boys who by the way have a much greater difficulty um, adjusting to any family breakup than girls do. Girls have more social skills and emotional skills uh, to cope with breakups than boys do. And so, yes. Is it more, is the bigger concern that they're away from their parents at this time, and we know a lot of these kids have been brought to detention facilities in, you know, far-reaching parts of the country. Is it more, is the bigger concern that they're away from their parents, or is it the way that they were taken away from their it's, parents it, by force? Yes, it's the forcibly away. You know, if a parent is bringing a child to, to camp, and the child does experience some anxiety, but there's a lot of love, and there's um, support, and the counselors are effective at being able to, to connect them with other children, then it's, uh, it's anxiety mm -hmm. followed by a good experience followed by a return to stability versus anxiety created uh, out of, out of um, being um, forcibly taken away and, uh, and having other kids being with other children who are similarly traumatized. What sort of care, what sort of help are these kids going to need it? We just mentioned a short time ago that we have, uh, we do have some reports now coming out that some of these children are, are, are who were separated from their parents are now being reunited. Mm -hmm. um, what what sort of help? do they need from a psychological standpoint yeah, they, at this at this it, it would be juncture. really important because every child needs a different type of help and s certain children are more anxious than others but two things to be really um, focused on one is to have every child have uh, be able to have a therapist um, be with him or her and second to understand something that very few therapists understand is how much more challenging separation is for boys than for girls mm -hmm. because girls express their anxiety much more openly boys report press their anxiety and that's what leads to the alienation and you know ultimately down the road um, a piece to the school shootings almost every single mm -hmm. school shooting has been has happened by boys who are uh, have been separated from their fathers or had minimal or no father involvement all right dr warren farrell we're gonna have to leave it right there i appreciate your uh, insight tonight on this topic thanks for coming in it's been a pleasure all right take care